UPS guy just brought <coughs> dropped this off. So this is my uh, 48 volt, 20,000 watt uh, power inverter from PowerJack. So this is gonna be fun. All right, I was able to get it up the stairs. And uh, do a little unboxing, I guess. We got our manual here. Looks kind of generic-ish. I don't know, they do have uh, pictures of the bigger models. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have to <clears throat> probably tip this to the side and kind of roll it out of there. All right, so I'm here at the uh, with the inverter, and I tried powering it up. I decided just to just to go with it and not inspect anything inside first, like I was gonna. Um, just I don't know. I thought maybe it'd be fine, but obviously it wasn't. I tried when I turn it on. This is what happens. It just uh, faults to an alarm like that, and uh, so I just popped the uh, the cover off just now, and this is what I see. So this this board is just like laying here on top of these terminals. Obviously, it shorted out on them, and then this connector is disconnected from it. So I don't know. I don't even know where this is supposed to be mounted to oh I maybe yeah I think it's supposed to be mounted there but uh it must have got knocked around in shipping or something but I'm guessing this board is uh Huh. I don't see it be burnt, but looks like it shorted on there. You can see how that lug is uh, charred, like something shorted on it at some point. Anyway, I'm going to plug this connector in there. And then um, we'll just, I'll power it down and then we'll, we'll see what it, I guess it's powered down mostly. <clears throat> but <clears throat> yeah, this is pretty uh, shameful on power jacks part. Not a good way, not a good experience right off the bat with them, that's for sure. So let me, let me just plug this in. It looks like it's the temperature sensor. see any other place to plug it in so anyway so we're plugged in there this connector is damaged I don't know it looks like it's maybe for a fan
Whoa. And then if you look at this board, it's all like warped and weird looking. That doesn't make me feel very good either. And look how it's all, it's all like uh, smashed on the, oh, it's, it's like that. It's like that because the, it is smashed. Oh man. Yeah, this board is, uh, it's cracked. If you look down, well, kinda looks like it's cracked. Where the transformer goes through. Jeez, man. <clears throat> anyway, let's see what happens. Power save on it. Well, it's working. I mean, uh, it's not faulting anymore. And I got, uh, I got voltage. It's a little bit low, but... Wow, man. I'm gonna, um, I'm definitely gonna contact them and report all this and, uh, at least get a, uh, get some replacement boards for this one. Get that one replaced. And, um, I'd like to replace this one too since it's, it's, uh, damaged here for sure and it looks like it was uh shortened out on that lug or something was shortened out on that lug i can't exactly see what was doing that but yeah so these standoffs these plastic standoffs here just they just broke off in in the uh where they're supposed to be mounted to. Yeah. So that's how it's supposed to be mounted. And they're like that. But yeah, it's uh, too bad. I mean, <clears throat> looking at the, looking at the inside, I mean, that's a huge, massive transformer, which is pretty impressive. But, um, yeah, they need to do some, they need to work on their quality here for sure. Alright, I'm going to show you what happens when I uh, plug a load into it. <clears throat> so I'm going to put it on the uh, power save mode off. I get the lights, whatever. Everything looks basically normal I guess except for this board I don't see any lights on it I don't know if there's supposed to be lights but this is a damaged one you can see the crack right down there so I want to plug a load into it so right now you can see it looks like it's working, but as soon as I plug the load in, So just so you can see how much how much this is pulling my uh, my load here off this cable. That's in watts. So it's only pulling 80 80 watts. And when I plug this in and uh, the power jack, your 
inverters uh, not even able to uh, handle 80 watts so definitely got a problem there all right guys thanks for watching um, so yeah just final thoughts on that I was really uh, had a high expectation for the for that power jack inverter and I still do uh, it's just that for whatever reason it's messed up like you can see in the video and um, if they can uh, fix the problem uh, warranty it out or whatever needs to happen uh, to make it right you know that's a uh, you know they have the opportunity to do that so that's kind of why I'm making this video right now is so that I can uh, post it up they can see it uh, exactly what's going on and um, also I think they need to be held accountable for this kind of stuff too and hopefully by doing this video they'll uh, they'll you know check their they'll make the changes necessary so you know the customers like me don't receive uh, inverters that are all mangled inside I, I just don't understand how it was so messed up inside like that with without any damage on the outside so um, the only thing I can think of is that that inverter got messed up in the inside previously by you know from shipping or whatever and then uh, it was returned or whatever they at some point they they fixed it or they thought they fixed it or something I don't know and they uh, shipped it back out to me but it was it just got um, messed up again or something I don't know anyway but whatever needs to happen um, I just hope they they make that happen for me and um, I'll post a follow-up video so letting you guys know how their warranty and their customer service um, handles this and uh, anyway I'm hoping to keep the inverter or uh, get it replaced or something get it fixed uh, because for the amount of money that you pay for it you're getting a, a lot of power theoretically I mean I haven't tested it out yet but um, from what I've seen uh, in a couple other YouTube videos it's it's a lot of power for the money so anyway that's it for now thanks for watching bye